Hey fellow vault dwellers, it's Angry Turtle back with Cremator Guide. Cremator 2.0 because it did receive a full rework, so the previous guide is outdated now. So Cremator 2.0, brand new weapon, once more. I have one of these perfect rolls in here, instigating damage while aiming. And you may wonder, how is it a perfect roll? Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. that. That's a god roll. Now, let's start from the basic, just in case you are new. How do you get the cremator? It's currently available through Seasons Rewards. You need to get far enough on your journey, progressing through the ranks by doing daily challenges, and you will unlock cremator itself, ability to craft it. Progressing further, you will be slowly unlocking modifications for the cremator. Unfortunately, for the best one, you need to progress and progress quite far. Cremator paints as well, as that's that's the most important. Slow burner mode you will unlock in here at which is the page? I don't know. In the middle of the season journey, you will unlock slow burner mode, the most important of them all. Now, let's quickly discuss all the modifications, what and when to use. Surprisingly, almost all the modifications for the cremator currently have a use case. And I have this anti-armor cremator in here. That's one of the bad rolls. Yes, surprise, that's a bad roll. I will probably scrape it, but it's weightless, so I'm keeping it for now. But most likely a script feeder. I will discuss those legendaries in a second, but first, modifications. Your barrel options. Apart from standard barrel, you have double shot, heavy barrel and multi-shot barrel. So, what is the best for what? Double shot barrel is the best for pure DPS if you want to fight bosses with this weapon. Yes, this weapon can fight bosses. It's probably not the most powerful. And there are better options for boss fights, but definitely capable of killing all the bosses in the game. Then heavy barrel. The best fuel efficiency, the highest damage per shot you'll achieve with the heavy barrel. One shot kills that are fast, here's your pick. After that, my favorite, multi-shot barrel. The lowest impact damage, but added spread helps you with application of the dot that's the real killer. Damage over time is the real damage of this weapon, so my favorite. Easy to apply to multiple enemies, so I can shoot once, kill four, five, even ten enemies if they will be all grouped together. Doesn't matter how many is there, they will all die if I got them with multi-shot barrel. Then, of course, standard barrel does not have a use case, that's only if you don't have any better. After that, you have proper tanks, fast, huge or standard. I'm a strong advocate of fast, and the biggest reason for that is that with fast, the reload time is just a little bit longer than your normal break between shots. So, almost doesn't affect your DPS. And if you equip a pair card for faster reload and you have faster reload on your weapon, fast propellant tank basically do not affect your DPS at all. You reload in between shots, which is awesome. It can reload really fast. Huge propellant tank, if you prefer, you have more ammo, but in exchange, slower reload and higher AP cost per shot. You can go with that. N not a big fan myself. Additionally, it makes the weapon heavier. So I would go with fast propellant tank. The paint, of course, the one you like. And then, slow burning napalm on or standard. There is no use case for standard. I'm a big advocate of slow burning. Insane amount of damage over time. The dot with this particular one that can kill level 100 super mutant. Just the dot from one shot. So it's awesome. Napalm tank. This I will rarely use and only in a combo with 
double shot for the VATS focus DPS boss killer weapon. So then napalm tank with double shot barrel. That makes sense. That makes sense. Otherwise, I do not recommend slow burning because that where the power lies. And I will show you those weapon in action in a second as well as I will be discussing the legendary effects, what and why, how interactions with this weapon actually work. Th those are different with other weapons. This is a very specific weapon. So I will be going over that. Let's uh, maybe visit some super mutants. About the build itself, it's work in progress. So I will share in the video as soon as I will be done creating it. I'm aiming for non-power armor, dot focus build. I, I hope it will come out very well. Now, why did I say that anti-armor is script and instigating is a gadron? Let me elaborate. It relates to the dot damage over time. In case of anti-armor, unfortunately, anti-armor does not work at all with damage over time. It doesn't affect it in the slightest. And this super mutant is dead from the dot alone after being shot with instigating weapon. So yes, as long as you shoot enemy that has full health in the moment of impact, the dot will be amplified by instigating effect for the full duration. So yes, it's absolutely brilliant. The same with damage while aiming. Damage while aiming does apply to your dot. So it's even more insane if you have instigating damage while aiming. The dot is devastating. Additionally, currently there is a bug with the weapon. If you shoot then aim, it shoots again. So it's like you can shoot twice, but only in first person perspective. Like that, that's how it works. I barely hit the super mutant. But that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Let's see. Slowly, but surely, this super mutant is dead. So the fact that you can shoot like twice when you are aiming, it's probably a bug that I discovered. I think other people discovered before me, but I discovered Cremator does that. When I roll my first bloodied damage while aiming, or was it vampire damage while aiming? I think bloodied. But I was testing when do I need to aim to get this effect. And when testing, I fired in VATS, then I wanted to aim it. I was like, oh, it fired again as soon as I pressed aim button. So that's how, how it came across that. The point is, damage while aiming will work always if you aim before the projectile impact. So in open air scenarios, you probably can shoot twice and both shots will be boosted by damage while aiming. So yes, this is a very good effect. You just need to aim before impact. After impact, you can stop aiming. It will work. It will work. So this is, this is absolutely brilliant. The instigating for everyday use case way better than I would ever expect. I'm disappointed anti-armor doesn't work. Of course, bloodied is amazing. And this is my cremator that I spec fully poor DPS. Bloodied crit damage and reload speed on this one with double barrel and napalm. That's awesome if you want to quickly kill tanky enemies like Scorch Beast. Uh, let me use it and scorch beast or maybe even my look queen we can go after my look queen additionally instigating is probably like the only option for full health builds to really utilize the dot so if you are full health build instigating instigating is for you now let's find a my look queen there she is let's see if i can get some good damage on her with the dps spec on this one Yes, I can get good damage. I could I could kill her faster with other weapons, so that's true. And that is the reason in the same time I prefer to use a dot focus on less tanky enemies. Of course, it goes real fast. It's usually one shot. The problem with using criticals, you need to be careful to don't 
get yourself into the blast or it will one hit you. So yes. The criticals are probably even more dangerous than the dot, the burn itself. So always stay away from the explosive radius. Oh, and there is this bug that you probably noticed that like weapon shooting from a side sometimes. If you switch to third person and back to first person, it's usually fixing it. If it's shooting from a side of a screen or from above your head. That appeared after the last patch, I noticed that. And lastly, one of my favorites too. Vampire with multi-shot multi barrel focused on dot. And yes, dot do not heal you with a vampire. So after application, it doesn't heal you. But every single of those projectiles will trigger 2% health regeneration as well as every explosion from every projectile. Even though the explosion damage is very minuscule now, Demo Expert is not even recommended in this situation. It doesn't do much at all for you. It will increase damage slightly, tiny bit, I would say. But that's probably not worth it. Unless you have a lot of spare points and you are very end game built with everything. But yes, Vampire with multi shot barrel, if you hit all projectiles on a target, will heal you for 16% of your total health per shot, which is absolutely crazy. And I love it for that. When I, I can still keep amazing dot. So this is the Cremator 2.0. I like it even more than. 1.0 main reason for that is i already had amazing weapons for boss kills so i did not need to replace it but i was missing amazing weapon like this one that can kill everything after one shot over time especially good on events as i can tag i can tag and everyone still has a chance to kill and if they choose not to enemies will die anyway from damage over time that I applied, so I don't even need to shoot again. I shoot once, either others join to get a credit from the kill, or they don't. Either way, it works, so that is why I love it so much. That's the boss killer now, I see we have scorched this queen, so I could try to shoot her a little bit in here. And no, the weapon is not sightable for sneaking. After one, two shots, you will be detected. It's considered to be a loud weapon. And colors. I love the fact that you can change the colors. You can affect the size of the explosion with Grenadier perk. I'm currently... Don't use it. It's, it's blind me more, of course. Explosions are bigger with Grenadier. The biggest downside... When you are fighting flying creatures, those projectiles do still disappear after like six or seven seconds. So if they do not hit a target, they will hit nothing because they do disappear. Come on, Scorch this queen, our final enemy for today. Give me your rewards. There we go. Batman. Thank you, thank you very much for the Fatman. And this is everything you need to know about Cremator 2.0. I hope you will have as much fun as I do. And yes, the build coming soon is almost ready. I will probably be testing it on a Saturday livestream to be absolutely sure it will be fine for the final release. If you want to see it early, Saturday livestream is fine. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.